Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 68. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, <laughs> today is a really casual episode because it's super dark and gloomy outside. It's been raining here forever. So I'm just in the living room floor filming this. I just threw the mandala madness behind me to be like a pretty-ish background. Yeah, so I got some finished objects. I got some whips. I got some more bags to show you. And I also have a special surprise towards the end of the video that if you want to know what it is, you have to stick around. Or I guess fast forward ahead if you want to. Okay. <laughs> Uh, y'all don't know, but it's about an hour later. As soon as I, I was waiting forever for the dishwasher to finish before I started filming, and then I sat down and started filming, and one minute into filming, uh, Devin got on lunch, so. So now here we are. <laughs> it's just a smidge. Sorry. What I was saying is let's get into my finished objects, because I have three finished objects. I have two that I can show you in person. One I'll have to pop up a picture for, because I made it, and I've done something different to it, so that um, for a gift and I don't want to show it because the person who I'm giving it to watches this and I don't want them to see it. So I'll show you the um, before I altered it <laughs> thing and then after um, the swap is over I will show you what I did to it. But that'll be the first one I'll show you and it is the You'll, You'll Be In My Heart Coasters by Sandra Law Sandra Law Madeline's Ravelry <laughs> store <laughs> I probably said that wrong but it'll be linked below. And it's a really cute heart um, coaster. I'll pop it up. Let me move this back over here so I have space. <laughs> um, I found it yesterday night. I was watching uh, Fried Green Tomatoes on TV. And it's one of my favorite movies. And I just wanted, I knew what I wanted to do with something. So I needed a heart shape base. <laughs> and uh, so I just looked it up on Ravelry. I typed in like heart applique or something like that. And th those popped up. And they're super quick and easy. Um, it starts off like a granny square and then you, after you make like, I think two rounds of a granny square kind of like pattern, uh, you do the, the round bits at the top in a fashion of doing, um, a bunch of treble crochets into one stitch to make it round. But it's super easy. I made it in like five minutes while watching that and, uh, I kind of want to make a whole bunch more to make either, uh, buntings or like ornaments or something with. Super quick and easy and, um. Let's see here. I think it was the uh, eye hook and the yarn that I used was Red Heart. Red Heart Super Saver uh, Hot Red or Red Hot, whatever it's called. But yeah, so this is the one that I made. And my hand is actually in the picture because I, uh, for size comparison, since I'm not holding it up, uh, it came out pretty good size. And it was perfect for what I wanted to use it for. And you'll see that after the Valentine's Day swap. <laughs> my next finished object is a crochet along that was started, um, I think, last week. Let's see, I think the 16th was the first day that it was released. And what it is, uh, the person who's hosting it is called The Unraveled Mitten, which I hadn't even heard of until I saw this post going around on Facebook. And um, she is doing a all year long crochet along that's a scrap busting crochet along. And it's where you make two squares a month each month. So you'll end up with 24 squares to make a big blanket with. And it's the 12 inch squares. So that's pretty big. But, um, and each square is going to have a different stitch pattern, you know. So, um, let's see here. I think Angelia was the first one to share it. And then I seen Terry was doing it. And a couple other people commented and said that they want wanted to do it. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it too. <laughs> so I made my first square. And it is a little wonky shaped because I couldn't get it the right size, the gauge right. So I just kind of messed with it a little. And I think it'll look better once the, the borders and all that's on it. But I just made mine green. This was square number one, which was released on the 16th, I'm pretty sure. And it's a herringbone half double crochet. And I just made mine in Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green that was gifted to me recently. Because this is one of my favorite green colors. And I want to make each of my squares solid colors. Maybe throw in a variegated here and there. I don't know. I'll probably just keep them all solid. And uh, so yeah, my first square is green. And then the next one I'll pick a random color whenever it comes out. The next square comes out the 30th of January. And then the third one I know comes out the day before Valentine's Day because I've seen that earlier and was thinking it. But yeah, so um, it's just a 12 inch by 12 inch square and I assume all of them are and then you just put them together and put a border on it at the end of it. I think it'll be a big old blanket but I'm looking forward to it. 
and it was a lot of fun. It was really, I had done the herringbone uh, half double crochet before, but it's been a while, so it was fun to do it again and um, do it, you know, learn how to do it a lot in a row, you know. So it, it is a little, not tricky, but it's a little different to get, you know, because normally half double crochet, you could just fly right through that took a little bit more thought and then after a few rounds I um, I got into it into the groove and I finished it up pretty quickly so uh, yeah it's it's just herringbone half double crochet and single crochet like a border around it so yeah and it's free I think I already said that well the pattern on Ravelry is a paid for pattern but if you click through the link in Ravelry um, if you scroll down a little bit um, it's free on her blog just written out and all of them will be all right, my last finished object, there's sirens in the background, I don't know if you can hear it. We live right down the road from where the ambulances park until they get a call, so we hear them a lot. But my last finished object is one that I've been working on for a couple weeks, and um, the reason I hadn't finished it until now is because I kept forgetting that it existed, but I finally went ham on it the other day and finished it up, and it is my hippo. <laughs> it, his head, if you're on the Facebook group, his head is kind of sewed on. You know, instead of being straight like that, it's off to the side. But most people said that that looked good, that it added character. But it's called The Happy Hippo by Heart and Soul uh, on Ravelry. I think he's super cute. I just made him a Red Heart Super Saver light blue, which I have a ton of. And he's got safety eyes. And then his little arms and his feet. I love this right here that they added for the... the um, I guess toenails and fingernails. I don't know what those are called on a hippo. But um, these are actually puff stitches. That's part when you're working, you know, like you start down here and you increase so far. And then uh, the puff stitch round is the one that is working in the back loop, which is what turns it to go up towards the arm. And I thought that was so neat that they added the puff stitches to make the little toenails and fingernails uh, instead of having to sew something on, like the nostrils, because I hate when I'm making things with hands and I have to sew individual fingers or claws or something on. But this pattern has it right into the pattern and I thought that was really neat. But yeah, he's super cute. I squished his ear. He's big. I love big amigurumi. I sewed his legs on in a way that kind of look weird, but I sewed him so that he could sit up when he's sitting on something. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I just made him because I wanted to make him, so now I have him. <laughs> I think it would be a good uh, gift or something for a lady who is having a baby or something. But yeah, it's cute. And I love him. He's free. It's a free pattern. I already said who it was, right? Yeah. The, the safety eyes were supposed to be larger, but these are the largest ones I have currently, and I'm not buying craft supplies right now. So, um, he got little beady eyes, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, that is all my finished objects this week. I have two active whips. I started one um, last Saturday. Actually, there's one about to start right now. I started one last Saturday for the um, the Zoom chat with Melanie from uh, Stitch to My Lou. Let me rephrase that. Stitch to My Lou. <laughs> um, she hosts them on Zoom, which is like a conference, a video conference app, or not? Oh, well, it's an app, but also you can go on a computer. It's kind of like Skype. Uh, it's just where you can video chat with a bunch of people at one time and it was a lot of fun There was everybody well not everybody, but there was a lot of people there. Becky was there. Carrie was there uh, Jane was there. Obviously Melanie was there uh, I'm trying to think there was a bunch of people there. Carla was there for a little while, but she had to go deliver a baby So she had to uh, leave and I think there was nine of us all together at the peak of it uh, Dana came in towards the end a few other people. I can't remember all but uh, they're actually about to do it right now. <laughs> it's in about 15 minutes. I might go and hop on that in a minute when I get done filming if I can finish this up in 15 minutes. <laughs> but so I'm going to show you my whips real fast. This is the one that I started during that conference call. That's why I was talking about that conference call. And it's another one of the baby blankets that I made the other day. Let me pull it up here. It's called the Sweet Baby Blanket Pattern by Crochet Styles For You Blog. I think I'm actually going to have to rip it out though because this is a bulky yarn Ooh, so it's bigger and this is already I just started or no I think I'm just in finishing Let's see here. there's two in there one two so this has got a whole ball in it and I just started another ball and I've only got five balls so it'll be 
four times bigger than this right here. So I don't think it's going to be big enough to be baby blankets. So I think I'm going to have to rip this out. Unless I could try to get a hold of some more of this yarn. Because it was clearanced out at Hobby Lobby last summer. Um, for that event. It's Baby B, Lots of Dots. And I think it's called Birthday Sprinkles. And I wanted to make a baby blanket with it. But I don't think I can make this pattern. I think I'm going to have to rip this out and start over with a different pattern. Because this is it's just not going to be enough. Like right here is where I, I joined them. And uh, so it would be this width times five. And that's just not going to be enough for a baby blanket, I don't think. Because times two would be that. So, like, three, four, five. I don't think it would be big enough. I'm going to have to rip it out. Dadgum it. <laughs> I was just, I actually really like this, too. So I'm going to have to rip it out. I just, just figured that out. <laughs> so it's not going to be whipped next week. It may be a different whip, though. I may use the same yarn to do something else. I just got to find something that works better with that yarn or I need to get more of that yarn. But anyways, that's a really good pattern. I made it uh, a couple weeks ago and it was really fun and quick and I liked it a lot. <laughs> Alright, my last active whip is another Valentine's Day thing. Ugh. And it is the owl, owl like the bird owl. <laughs> Always love you Valentine's Caddy. Uh, it's like a stuffy with a pocket on the front of it but uh, so far I've got the body and the eyeballs done so this will be stuffed in fiber fill and then sewed at the top and then there's going to be a heart shaped pocket right there that it will be like you know halfway sewed on to put stuff down in and it'll have little wings and then it'll have little bowls and tassels up here to look like its ears this is all I got so far and its eyes aren't weird looking it's just because it's not stuffed they are actually level <laughs> but uh, this is red heart super saver white and pretty in pink or something like that. I can't remember. Perfect pink. <laughs> There's so many different pink colors. But yeah. So I'm making this. I thought it would be cute to have. I might want, I might make a few more with different colors. Um, you know, the colors swapped out instead of a red pocket, a pink pocket and a red body or something. Just for fun. <laughs> but yeah, that is the Owl. Owl, always love you. Valentine Caddy by Holly's Hobbies. Oh my god. I'm going to have a hard time speaking tonight. That's all of my active whips and my finished objects for this week. So, um, I don't have a whole lot to talk about um, extra. And I got some other stuff I got to do, actually. So, I'm going to kind of cut this short here in a little bit. I do want to show you some more bags that are in my shop currently, uh, if you're interested. So, I still have a mermaid set in the shop. And I have one of these birds and flower sets left and then that's all the original update and then I've added new ones since the other day since last week so I have one of these sugar skull sets left and it has an ocean pouch with it <laughs> I have one Pokemon this kind of Pokemon and it's a sack it's got an ocean's pouch also and then I have one of this Pokemon print just Pikachu. This is a box bottom bag. It also has an ocean pouch. And I also have an extra one of those. Because I kept one of these bags. <laughs> but uh, So I have two of those. One comes with a bag and one's just sewed separately. And then today I added these owls. They got lines because I have them folded up. And it has an ocean's pouch but it is smaller. Because I didn't have enough material left over. But it does still fit a hook and stuff. So you can still get hooks in here. Uh, as long as they're not big clunky hooks. And then I have two of the this print in sack form sets with pouches. And then I have two of that same print but in boxed bottom sets. And then I have just one of these by themselves without a notion pouch because I ran out of material. Then I have one party print <laughs> with a pouch. And lastly, I have this cute, like, forest woodland themed sack with a pouch. Alright, so that's in the shop now. If you're interested, check it out in the description below. It'll be in there, the link. <laughs> and uh, the last thing I wanted to mention before I close is this little giveaway. The reason it's not in the title is because I wanted a subscriber to win because it's a s subscriber appreciation type giveaway. Um, I'm almost at 2,500. Last time I checked today, it was 2,490 something. So by the time this video is up, 
I may be over that. So I wanted to go ahead and get the giveaway started. <clears throat> but like I said, I didn't mention it in the uh, video name because I don't want people to subscribe to me just to enter the giveaway. So I want this to go to someone who's actually subscribed and actually watches the videos. So, um, yeah. So all you gotta do to enter it is comment below <laughs> something. Um, something more than just like hi or enter me in the giveaway, you know. Don't even mention the giveaway in a comment because then other people will see that and just try to enter the giveaway. Just write a regular comment down below. <laughs> and what you will win, let's see here. I will end it. It's gonna be pretty quick. I will end it next Thursday, the 24th of January. And I'll draw a winner the next day after that, Friday the 25th. So what you will win is a celebration project bag, which is box bomb. It's just got a red inside. With a matching uh, notions pouch. And you also get two um, Claudia buttons. This one says happiness is crochet and she's put stitch markers, a T and a candy in the back. And this one says, it's upside down. <laughs> It says crochet powers activate. Yeah, crochet powers activate. And it also has stitch markers, a T, and uh, a candy in there. So, yeah, these are what you will get. <laughs> um, so, like I said, just leave a comment below and all that jazz, and I'll pick a winner on the 25th. And uh, let me put these in there so I don't lose them. But I can't believe I've almost got 2,500 subscribers. That's a lot of people. <laughs> That's a crazy amount of people. And I appreciate it, each and every one of you guys. It's crazy that people want to watch me and that that many people want to watch me. But I do appreciate it. And I can't believe how much the channel has grown in the last about year and a half that I've done it. And uh, I guess it's closing in on two years. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I love that you guys like watching me. I love that you guys like... Um, being active on the Facebook group, and that's a lot of fun. I love the Facebook group. I'm always on there. <laughs> I'm sure you, the ones who are on the Facebook group know that. And, yeah, so it's just awesome, and I can't wait to see what uh, I get done the rest of this year on the channel and see how much things change and hopefully eventually start doing tutorials. I'm just, I really want to have a good camera set up, and I'm just not there yet. But maybe this later this year I will have the right equipment to do some tutorials. <laughs> But yeah, so I will, I guess I'll hop off here because I got some stuff I need to do before it gets too late. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.